my channel Ella here thanks for stopping by today I'm going to do uh, faves and hates for the month of December uh, some of these things I've had for longer than just uh, December but I'm just gonna include it in this month so we're going to start with the hates because I went and spent my personal money and tested these products so you don't have to so I want you to first know what not to spend money on what didn't work for me it might work for some other people but it didn't for me and then we'll finish off on a positive note with my faves first product that didn't work out for me is this cleansing oil it's a Japanese uh, brand called naive or naive I'm not sure how to pronounce it it's olive oil based now this should have been a sign for me uh, olive oil is too thick to do anything on your skin um, basically you're supposed to put it on dry um, suds it up it melts your makeup and you wash it off with warm water it is so messy it gets everywhere it gets on your clothes it gets on your counter it gets you know then the makeup is dripping like look how liquidy it is when you try to pour it out it just drips down the bottle and you know the most important thing it doesn't remove your makeup that's what we're trying to get to uh, it removes your face makeup but that's not my issue my issue is always the eye makeup I want something that I don't need to scrub and rub my eyes and then they're all red afterwards I want something that's gonna be nice and gentle and remove everything it does not remove your eye makeup I mean I wear regular mascara forget waterproof products I wouldn't even try so this uh, you can find on Amazon for about 10 bucks I picked it up when I was in Russia and the girl really recommended it but I didn't like it didn't work for me at all leave in the comments below what you do recommend as a cleansing balm or cleansing oil next thing that was really really terrible <laughs> sorry to be so negative but I'm just telling you the truth this was this elf brush cleanser I ran out of my cinema secrets brush cleanser that I trust and I love and that's the one I do recommend uh, so I just wanted to get something small and quick so this looks like this they have a few different ones um, but this is the one that didn't work for me I think it was only three dollars you don't get much of it here it's only 60 mil or 2.2 uh, ounces when I started spraying it on my brushes and trying to clean it nothing literally came off of the brush when I tried to wipe it off uh, on a paper towel but the smell of it was so perfumey it smells like straight up perfume so then I looked at the ingredients on the box and guess what it said alcohol and perfume nothing else you can literally put this on and wear it around as your perfume I mean it's three bucks for a bottle of perfume but it does not clean your brushes at all and then the scent the perfume is so strong that you know I left the room and walked back in and this room is really big and I could smell these brushes from the other side of the room so it's not worth even three dollars if it doesn't do what it says it's supposed to do which is clean your brushes so and how could you just put alcohol and perfume and that's it nothing else there was nothing else in the ingredients so guys save your money do not buy this it does not work so to continue my brush cleansing adventure I bought this other guy which looked promising it says brush and sponge cleaner this is from Walgreens it's still in the packaging while well, I put it back in the packaging because I'm just going to return it I mean this was about six bucks so again it's not worth even that so I came home and you know started doing the same thing 
uh, spritz it on, on the towel, nothing comes out, very little makeup comes off. Uh, so I looked at the instructions as it says to wet brush hair or sponge, then liberally spray on the brush uh, on the brush cleanser. Massage the cleanser into the brush or sponge. Rinse with wa water until it runs clear. I tried doing that as well. Didn't do anything. So they tried to say that this is a shampoo, but it's not soapy enough to wash it this way and it does nothing wiping on the paper towel. Um, so if you're ever in Walgreens and wondering how is this brush cleanser, <laughs> it is crap. <laughs> Don't buy it, okay? Remember this, it does absolutely nothing. Did it work for somebody? Leave it in the comments below because maybe I'm doing something wrong. It did not work for me at all. Moving on next, to some NYX products. Now, NYX is one of my favorite brands to work with uh, as a makeup artist and to wear them myself as a consumer. But I have to let you know about these eyeliners because I do own more than one. This one I purchased while traveling. I was in Italy. I did wear it a lot. This is uh, NYX Vivid Brights uh, eyeliner. So the problem, first of all, with this is the brush. Look what it look, looks like now. <clears throat> it wasn't this bad before, but it just gets like that every time you're trying to push it back so the bristles are not firm at all they just get squashed and wrinkled and everything how are you supposed to use this on your eye tell me so what I ended up doing is taking this putting it onto my artist palette and then take my angle brush my matte brush or any other brush and use it with that so you could do that as well but I have to let you know that the other problem with this product is that when you try to layer it, um, it will crack. So you can only do one layer and try to make it work in one go. The color uh, is called Vivid Petal. So I do own another one. Uh, it's back in LA it is red I purchased it for a photo shoot I ended up not using it because of the cracking problem um, so I love love the color of it it just looks so cool on my eyes it makes them look very green um, but the brush is unusable and do not layer it so I don't like you know the consistency and the brush that it comes with but I do love the color so it's kind of love and hate relationship sort of the next thing from NYX I picked up in Italy also is a um, bad blood it's a eye gloss uh, so the color is here it's called bad blood and it looks like this. This is, you know, the colors that I really love to wear. Um, it's very pigmented. Uh, the problem with this, it does not stay on. It will crease on your eyes. So maybe if you have not so deep set eyes like mine, you know, I open my eyes once and it's all creased up. But I don't know what I was thinking, buying a cream product that is not claiming to be crease proof and waterproof it is an eye gloss so what did I expect anyways it doesn't stay on it creases uh, but the color is beautiful uh, I did end up wearing it with my Inglot eyeshadow I don't remember the number of it but it's basically a brick color as well so I just layer those two on top but on its own, this product did not work. So the eye gloss was $9.50 and 
and the NYX Vivid um, Bright Eyeliner was $5.50. Next is from Wet n Wild, which I love as well, but this guy just did not work out. I purchased three of these, and this one is not doing it, unfortunately. I'm gonna show you the swatches. They're very patchy and very oily, um, so I don't know how you would use this. I was gonna use it, um, you know, to create my editorial looks. Like, look how there's nothing there. I'm gonna go again. No matter what you do, it just, just doesn't come out. So that's the purple. Now I'm gonna do this bronzy one, which I think is the best out of the six in this palette. So yeah, this has a little bit of pigment. Now I'm gonna do the gold. Um, the other palettes are really nice. So the gold is super patchy as well. I'm gonna go again, try to get the color on to show you. So yeah, very patchy. Um, silver. Silver is super oily and inconsistent too. Very, very pale uh, pigmentation. Now I'm doing the blue here. Also patchy. And the last one is this really pretty turquoise. I wish it would work, but it doesn't. Um, well, turquoise doesn't look so bad. So out of the six, this one works and this one is so-so. How -so. Uh, one palette was five, 550, something like that, but you end up using just these two colors, it's not worth it for me. I'm gonna go through the other two uh, later as well. This one was the best one. It's really, really pigmented. I love it. I have it on my eyes right now. So save your money on metallics don't do that it doesn't it's not worth for the just the two colors so that's it for the hates <laughs> so we're gonna start with my faves now um, which is the fun part right so these products I do recommend I really really love them I'm gonna start with some uh, skincare products this uh, brand I discovered while I was in Russia and it was 50% off I purchased this toner slash uh, makeup remover slash cleanser type of thing it's by a brand called Willetta so this says that it's made in Switzerland so but their other products say that they're made in Germany does any of you know is this brand German or Swiss I don't know anyways this product um, I really love so much first of all it smells so beautiful it's very citrusy the ingredient list is absolutely gorgeous so this brand is sold here in the states in Whole Foods I would have never in a million years looked at it yeah but I bought it in a Sephora type of store in Russia called Golden Apple so and the girls really recommended it so that's why I decided to try it so, so this guy is uh, $19.50. I mean, you do not get that much of it for $20. It's only 100 mil. Uh, the bottle is, a the packaging is a little bit um, old fashioned. Like, it's not like the most cool design, but the product inside is absolutely gorgeous. So this is for combination skin, normal skin or oily skin. It's not recommended for very dry skin. I do have skin that's on the drier side and I'm fine with it. So you can put it on the cotton round and just remove your makeup or you can use it as a toner after you wash your face. It does say to avoid the eye area because it's, it's very citrusy. The texture of it is very milky and it's white. Um, the color is white. So it's really, really nice. I love it. I've used it every day. The next product from them, same brand, Willeda, 
again you can buy this in uh, Whole Foods here in the States this is a cold cream so I asked the girl for a cream that's really really rich something that I can wear at night that's gonna make me feel really comfortable very soothing very rich and nourishing and she recommended this so this is a cream you would use in very cold climates uh, you can use it on your elbows you can use it on your face I even put it on to my baby's face and she loves it the smell again is very citrusy um, very spa like it's not fragrancy it's really natural uh, scent uh, this guy I enjoy so much the only thing you don't get a lot of it again this is only 30 mil here and it's about $16 but it's a gorgeous cream. I really recommend it. Let me know you guys what are the products from the, this brand you've tried and recommend. I want to try their baby products as well. Okay, next one. One of my like super favorites this month. I'm so excited about this product. Physician's Formula Rosé All Day. Yay! I love the name. I love the smell. And I love what it does to my skin. Ah. Oh. Smells like roses. I never used to like smell. Um, I never used to like the smell of roses or perfume of roses. Oh, smells so good. Anything with roses in it for for my skincare, I really really love. So it just gives you like a really pretty pearlescence effect. If you could see it, yes, you could see it. If you have redness in your skin, it probably will not be a good idea to use it because it gives you that little bit of pinky, pearly undertone. But it gives a beautiful glow underneath your makeup. You can wear it on your own. You can wear it uh, under your foundation. It's oil-free. It's serum-like texture. It hydrates. It smooths. It has dimethicon in it, so that's what's going to make your skin smooth. Um, it's paraben free and it's gluten free and cruelty free. I, I love the packaging. The packaging is glass bottle. The only thing is the dropper doesn't pick up a lot of products, uh, a lot of product at a time, because mm, I think it's too thick for this dropper. It should have been a bit bigger. But anyways, regardless, the product itself is absolutely stunning have my notes here for the prices i've been so bad with prices on products so the rose all day all day is 15 dollars. the next thing i'm going to go through is another moisturizer that i do use under my makeup and i use it as a highlighter it's glam glow glow starter and the color is down here it's nude glow it's a gorgeous moisturizer, it smells so nice, very, very light, gel-like texture. I have it on under my makeup today. You could see my skin is glowing from within. Is that how you call that effect? So, oh, it's so nice and light. You can, uh, you know, again, wear it under your makeup. You can use it just on the high points of your face as a highlighter. Uh, or you can wear it alone and they have other colors full size of this uh, guy is $49 but it's a nice big jar I don't have it with me to show you but you can buy this at Sephora you can buy this in Ulta you can buy it at their website there are two more colors so there's pearl glow nude glow and sun glow it has hyaluronic acid, it has green tea extract, it has really nice ingredients, it smells divine, so I really recommend it, check it out. So my next fave is super on the budget, this is by Trader Joe's, it's a facial toner, rose water facial toner, uh, it was only 5 bucks and I don't know what got into me, but I just, you know, started looking at their skincare section. I love Trader Joe's, so now I love it even more because uh, I like this toner. So basically, you know, I spray it after I've done my makeup. Oh, it smells like roses again. Anything with roses, 
I'm on it. Uh, the ingredients are really nice. Um, it has the uh, rose flower oil, it has witch hazel, it has uh, glycerin. It's really nice, there's no alcohol in it, so mm, it won't irritate your skin or irritate your eyes. I also use it to prep my skin. I spray it on before I do my makeup or I use it before I apply my uh, face oils to have them absorb quicker. So really cool, super nice um, dispenser spray. It dispenses it evenly, very finely. Five bucks. Check this out, guys, when you're in Trader Joe's. Next thing um, I have is my Milani blush that I picked up recently. I know this is not a very December-ish color. Uh, it's called Coral Cove um, Powder Blush. I just couldn't resist this packaging. Like, check, check this out. It's so gorgeous. I just love it. Um, you think that this is going to be so intense, but when you go to swatch it, it's not that intense. Um, when you apply it on your skin, it's really pretty, very, very uh, soft. Um, to me, a peachy, corally blush is good all year round. I am wearing another peachy blush right now. This is Orgasm by NARS. So this blush was $8.99 or nine dollars um so yeah i really like it um i'm gonna try other colors although i don't like to collect things like this i like things in palettes but i did enjoy the just the aesthetics of it it's just so pretty um the next thing i'm going to go through is um the wet and wild palette uh artist paint palette in bright now this guy is absolutely amazing it takes the first place this was uh, about five dollars and fifty cents you have they have them in uh, Walmart they have them on wet and wild beauty .com. so pigmented I'm just amazed at some of their products I can't believe they can produce this quality at this price so i'm going to swatch this for you again this could be used as your cheek color as your lip color as your eyeshadow color whatever you wish i'm wearing the orange color today as my base to make everything pop and then i have on my lid i have fenty beauty uh freestyle highlighter in uh, mimosa sunrise this one and then a bunch of other stuff. Anyways, I've worn the pink on my eye. I've worn the orange on my eye. I've worn the red on my eye. Love it. So, so pigmented. Again, I purchased these palettes to create editorial looks um, on models. I wanted something that's going to be nice and pigmented and budget friendly. So I'm doing the orange now. And I wanted to compare it to Makeup Forever um, Flash Palette, which I think is nice, but it's so expensive. I'm going to do the pink next. And, you know, this did not disappoint me at all. I mean, the Metallics one did not work out, but these are so nice. Like this as a lipstick, so nice. Uh, I'm going to go with the red next. And they stay on pretty well. Um, the consistency is really thick, so you don't need to apply a lot. I'm going to do the blue next. Um, so yeah, I'm going to be using this palette a lot. I have been using it a lot. So they're all very, very pigmented and very consistent. Uh, I'm going to do the green. And... Uh, there's one more palette, the pastels. I'm going to go through that as well. Um, so here we go. This is all six colors. So bright, so rich, creamy, stay on, pigmented, love it. So this is probably more for makeup artists out there, but you know, 
a regular girl that loves makeup can use this as well like I said you can use these colors as blushes you can mix it as lipsticks you can use it as your shadow bases love it you could do so much with it if it's only so these are so pretty again I um, wanted to use them to create editorial looks um, I'm gonna swatch all of them on my other arm I'm gonna start with this nice pale uh, violet really nice baby blue very pretty and this pale uh, green next one is the yellow I think the yellow was not uh, as great that's actually pretty good as well uh, one second I run out of fingers now next one is this peach one yeah it's pretty too and then the really really pale pink is the last one I run out of fingers sorry one second so that's the pink one yeah so they're very pretty and pigmented 550 or six dollars can't remember sorry so very very much recommending these two but not the metallic one where is it not for this one yes for these two so this concludes my video for today. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Say hello to me on Instagram. I uh, am as LMRM Makeup on Instagram. If you want to see some of my work, you can view my portfolio at lmrmmakeup.com. Please leave me in comments below what else you would like to see from me. Thank you for hanging out. Take care. Bye.